In this video, we're going to apply and randomize materials on crowd agents or zombies using material style sheets in Houdini. We have a formation of agents here without anything applied on them. Let's go to Render View tab and make a quick render. So, as you can see, they have nothing applied. Let's go and make a new tab for the material style sheets. Right mouse button click to select data tree and select Material Style Sheets. Let's expand that. So we'll start by right mouse button clicking on CrowdSource where our agents are and making a new style sheet parameter. And we're going to add a new style, name it Zombie, add an override. This is going to be the material we will do the override upon and then randomize different materials with. Since we are using the agent that ships with Houdini, it already has pre-existing selection groups that we can apply materials to, like head, torso, etc. In this case, the zombie override is going to be applied to the whole body. Change the type to set material. And we're going to select the zombie shop material that we've prepared previously. Now that we have told Houdini the material we want to override, we have to assign that override to the agents. We'll do so by making a primitive type target. All of our agents are getting overridden because we set our target to all primitives in the scene, but we can also select specific agents we want to override too. This can be done interactively in the viewport. So let's go do that. Right mouse button on zombie and select set target from viewport selection. Jump back to the scene view and select the agents. Hit enter to finish. And let's go back to render view. And you can see that the zombie material has been applied only to the agents we selected in the viewport earlier. But now we want to apply them to all of the agents and then randomize different materials on them. So let's clear that selection. Right mouse button click and delete. Now we're going to make an override script, which will randomize their uniforms and face textures. We're going to pick the face texture map parameter because that's the texture map we want to randomize. Now set the override type to script from shop. We have a few CVEX nodes we put together before, which are going to do the actual randomizing element for us. Select face CVEX. This is one of the CVEX scripts we've prepared earlier. Go back up to object level and left mouse button click and select shop here. Double click and let's have a quick peek at what the CVEX script looks like. And let's go back up to object level. Now you may have been wondering about our agents all still having the same face and uniforms, even after assigning the face CVEX script that should randomize our set of textures. What we need to do now is establish a binding from the agent primitive ID to the ID parameter of the CVEX script. Otherwise, Houdini doesn't know what it should randomize. So let's create a data binding. And now the uniforms and faces are being randomized via the CVEX script. We're going to use a few more override scripts and create one more style. And here's the final look. With material style sheets, we can create a bunch of looks using styles and overrides. This allows you to just focus on doing look dev in your scene. So you can combine multiple styles together and disable others to get different results, for example. You can quickly toggle on and off the style by clicking on this checkbox or you can solo the style sheet, which will disable everything else. That way, you don't have to jump between networks. You can work uninterrupted within the style sheets window. And that's how you can assign and override material parameters using material style sheets in Houdini.